and a half minutes after seven o'clock in Trinidad and Tobago as we're going to the second hour of morning edition on uh, this Monday with our business breakfast segment and a special thank you to our sponsor Value Optical. Well, let's focus on the Nestle Caribbean Youth Summit 2021. It takes place in just a couple months time, less, just a little less than that, October 5th and 6th. It's all a part of the Nestle Needs Youth Initiative. It's a global program which seeks to strengthen the employability of young people. It was started in the Caribbean in 2014 and boasts uh, of uh, development opportunities for over 20,000 youth. Uh, they are taking their initiative one step further with this two-day virtual event focusing on young persons between the ages of 16 and 29. Well, we're joined now by two personalities from Nestle who are going to give us more information on what is coming up. We have Christine Martinez, who is the head of Human Resources, and City Jones Gordon, who is the head of corporate communications. Good morning, ladies. Thanks very much uh, for joining us. So if I could start with you, Ms. Martinez, as to uh, this uh, initiative that's coming up uh, October the 5th and 6th, uh, tell us a bit more about it. Good morning to you. Great. Good morning, Fazir, and good morning to our listening and viewing public. It's an absolute pleasure for Nestle to have this opportunity to speak about what we consider to be an important topic and that of youth development. And the Youth Summit is, in fact, a very important part of an overall program, mm -hmm. which Nestle would have embarked on almost a decade ago, because we, in fact, recognize that youth unemployment um, has been a critical global issue for many years and in particular with the impact of the pandemic disproportionately on youngsters we see this as an important area of course nestle being the largest food and beverage company in the world and also a major employer we see ourselves as having an important responsibility to really tackle this unemployment crisis so back in 2013, we would have launched a very structured program entitled Nestle Needs Youth. And this program was started in our European territories where youth employment was amongst the highest double digit figures. And then in 2015, we launched the program in the Caribbean. And um, we've been able to roll out the program in six of our countries in the Anglo-Dutch Caribbean, where we operate in 23 countries. So we've since had the program rolled out in Trinidad, Jamaica, Guyana, St. Lucia, Barbados, and also Turks and Caicos. And um, since 2015, we've been able to connect with over 20,000 youngsters. And we want to continue to have an impact, a meaningful impact on the lives of our young people. So the Youth Summit is really an opportunity. It's a pivotal opportunity, I would say, in our youth development journey as an organization. And we what we believe is most important about this opportunity is to, to gain the support of like-minded organizations, to be a part and join our movement, to tackle this important op global opportunity. And so far we have 40 partners um, that have joined forces with us, and we are looking forward to joining forces with so many more. So I hope that we have organizations that are like-minded with similar youth development agendas out there listening to us this morning. We want to be able to create a thousand jobs over the next three years. And it starts with our Youth Summit. And we would like you to join forces with us to create jobs, to commit, to pledge to creating jobs. And um, we believe this will be an important opportunity to make a meaningful impact now. And you can see that the, the name of our Youth Summit is now, because we believe that the future starts now and we could certainly impact um, and build more sustainable economies only if we could create employment opportunities for our new generation and so be a part of this and get on board and, and let me bring Ms. Jones Gordon into the discussion as well. Before, sure. before, before I, I get your perspective, Ms. Jones Gordon, on, on uh, the entire initiative and how it operates in the time of a pandemic, uh, the, the nuts and bolts of the event itself. What do people have to do? Of course, young people between 16 and 29, or maybe even potential partners who would like to get on board. If they want to get more information, or in the case of the young people, they want to register for the event. Is there a deadline? What do they have to do? Ms. Jones Gordon, good yeah. morning to you. 
Okay, hi, thank you so much for Zira and good morning to everyone. So to register for the event, yes, registration is required. Uh, it's very simple. You go to www.nestle-caribbean.com and immediately you'll be directed to where you can register. Any participants can register for the Youth Summit. Um, you know, to be a corporate partner, anyone can reach out directly to us, uh, to Kristen or to myself um, at Nestle, uh, really to, to let us know of your interest in becoming a corporate partner. Um, and really what that means is being a part of a program that develops young people, not only through employment, but through training, mentorship, coaching. There's so many ways to add value. So in order to be a corporate partner, it's very simple. You know, you reach out to Nestle directly, to Kristen or to myself, and let us know your interest. But, you know, just looking at the summit itself, I. I really would like to employ young people listening, parents of young people listening, to take advantage of the opportunities that are being made available. Because we have, you know, three key things that this summit is aiming to um, impact in young people's lives this year. The first thing is really having engaging discussions about topics that matter to young people, creating that space. And so we're going to be talking about sustainability and creating a sustainable planet. We're going to be talking about how to build a business digitally as an entrepreneur. We're also going to be talking about topics like managing your personal digital presence and professional physical presence, um, managing communication in the workplace. So these are just some of the topics that we're going to be talking about using workshops with experts across the Caribbean um, who really are uh, very, very good. And I know that these young people who are registering and participating for free will walk away with so much. And you know, the second thing that the summit wants to achieve is to have mentorship and networking available at a time like this when so many young people are connecting virtually and may have been a bit cut off from the opportunities to be mentored on to network with their peers. And so this space that we're creating virtually is really going to allow for that with mentorship from business leaders across different industries. And of course, our corporate partners are participating as well. And thirdly, as Kristen indicated, uh, you know, we're going to have a pledge, a now moment, where we're actually going to be showing, physically proving that we are making that commitment to creating job opportunities from over the next three years, starting from 2022 straight up to 2024, so that our young people know it's not just talk, it's we're walking the talk as well. And, and before I go back to Ms. Martinez for a final perspective, uh, just to, if you could remind us, Ms. Jones-Gordon, is there a deadline for registration? No, there's no deadline for registration. The goal is to sign up and register as soon as possible because um, we have an opportunity for those who are registering to select if they want to be a part of a mentorship session. And as I said, it's business leaders from around the world and around the Caribbean. However, spaces are limited in those sessions. So there are benefits to signing up as soon as possible. But we are opening this summit. The goal is to have as many people that want to participate be able to do so. And so it, there's no official deadline for signing up. And before time runs out on us, uh, Ms. Martinez, because we are in the time of the pandemic from since last year and might be with us uh, for a while, uh, have there been specific challenges in, in creating the same sort of vibe with, with this type of event, having it online as well? Yes. No, we certainly have been able to benefit from leveraging digital. Of course, you know, the pandemic has had its pros and also its cons. So we have chosen to really look at how we can leverage the power of digital to support and extend our reach to so many more youngsters. And we've, in fact, been able to do more. And we found that our young people are, are quite um, open to leveraging these digital tools and technology. So we, we certainly are looking forward to having this opportunity to connect with more than 10,000 youngsters across the Caribbean through our digital platform. 
Well, it sounds as if it's going to be a, a, a really interesting exercise uh, for that age group, uh, 16 to 29. Uh, Kristen Martinez and C.T. Jones-Gordon, thank you very much indeed for taking the time to be with us. And you just have to go onto the website. I'm on the website right now, nestle-caribbean.com, and you see uh, the page coming right up at you. It's right there at the top, and you just click on it to get more information as to what you need to do to register for the Nestle Caribbean Youth Summit. Well, my days as a youth have gone by a long, long time ago, but <laughs> Certainly for a lot of young people, it's a fantastic opportunity for them to get a lot of vital information in these very yes. challenging times indeed. Thank you very much once again, ladies, as uh, we conclude our business breakfast segment on uh, this uh, Monday morning. Thanks once again uh, to Value Optical for their continued support. And as we go to the break, and we now have a check on the traffic this time in Debe in uh, South uh, Trinidad uh, via the camera of TrafficTT.com. We're heading out of Debe proper. They've gotten the light heading out onto the highway as we head to our next break.